एम्पलीट्यूड वेवलेंथ टाइम पीरियड एंड फ्रीक्वेंसी बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेक्चर क्लिक ऑन द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड गेट एक्सेस टू आर हंड्रेड ऑफ कंसेप्चुअल लेक्चर्स फॉर फ्री फर्स्टली लेट मी टीच यू दैट वट इज एम्पलीट्यूड वेल कंसिडर द साउंड वेवस प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द सोर्स वी नो फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस लेक्चर दैट डिवरिंग वेव मोशन particles oscillate about their mean position or equilibrium position to produce sound waves now the maximum displacement of the particles either above or below from the mean position is called amplitude i simply remember that amplitude is the maximum height above or below from the mean or equilibrium position usually amplitude is denoted by x not the si unit of amplitude is meter now how can we calculate or measure the amplitude of any wave well consider these two waves now i should measure the distance or length of this peak point from the mean position using a ruler or any measuring device for example When I measure the length of this peak point from the mean position suppose it was 0.005 meter so the amplitude of this wavelength is x is equal to 0.005 meter similarly in this wave to find its amplitude we measure the length of this peak point from the mean position Let's suppose that the length of this peak point from the mean position is 0.1 meter. So the amplitude of this wave is x is equal to 0.1 meter. Thus we can also state that the amplitude of this wave is smaller than the amplitude of this wave. Now what is wavelength? Well, consider the motion of these two waves. We know from the previous lecture that transverse waves travel in consecutive or successive crest and trough while longitudinal waves travel in successive compression and rarefaction in case of transverse waves the length of successive crest and trough is called its wavelength while in case of longitudinal waves the length of successive compression and rarefaction is called its wavelength wavelength is denoted by the greek letter lambda its s a unit is meter we know that this region is crust and this region is trough so the length of one crust and one trough is wavelength or lambda let's suppose that its wavelength lambda is equal to 0.01 meter we also know that this region is compression and this region is rarefaction so the length of one compression and one rarefaction is wavelength or lambda let's suppose that its wavelength lambda is equal to 0. 002 meter thus remember that wavelength is the length of successive crest and trough or it is the length of successive compression and rarefaction now what is time period to understand the concept of time period you must understand the concept of wave cycle let consider the motion of these two waves In case of transverse waves one crest and one trough form one wave cycle or one oscillation while in the case of longitudinal waves one compression and one rarefaction form one wave cycle or one oscillation now how many wave cycles or oscillations are there in transverse waves and how many wave cycles are oscillations are there in longitudinal waves well this crest and trough make one wave cycle this crest and trough make another wave cycle and this crest and trough 
also make another wave cycle so there are three wave cycles are three oscillations in this transverse wave motion here this compression and rarefaction make one wave cycle and this compression and rarefaction make another wave cycle so there are two wave cycles are two oscillations and this longitudinal wave motion now listen carefully time period is defined as time taken by the oscillating body to complete one wave cycle or one oscillation let me repeat it time taken by oscillating body to complete one wave cycle or one oscillation is called time period time period is denoted by capital t and its si unit is second for example if this wave completes its one oscillation or one wave cycle in 2 seconds then its time period is t is equal to 2 seconds if this wave complete one oscillation or one wave cycle in 1 second then its time period is t is equal to 1 second thus remember that time period is the time taken by oscillating body to complete one cycle finally let me teach you that what is frequency well consider the motion of these three waves let in one second this wave completes three wave cycles or three oscillations this wave in one second completes four wave cycles or four oscillations while this wave in one second completes six oscillations or six wave cycles we define frequency as number of wave cycles or number of oscillations completed in one second let me repeat it number of wave cycles or number of oscillations completed in one second frequency is denoted by small f the si unit of frequency is hertz thus the frequency of this wave motion is 3 hertz because it completes 3 oscillations in 1 second the frequency of this wave is 4 hertz because it completes 4 oscillations in 1 second and the frequency of this wave is 6 hertz because it completes 6 oscillations in 1 second also remember that frequency is equal to the reciprocal of time period f is equal to 1 upon t thus frequency is the number of wave cycles or oscillations completed per second or one second this was all about amplitude wavelength time period and frequency